Hello and welcome back to SciTie Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool rocket with using an ATtiny85 microcontroller circuit and using cardboard that you can find from an Amazon box. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is these two pieces of cardboard which has a printed out design that you can cut out. And you can find this design in any Amazon box where you can cut out the side and to cut out a printout. And there are many different varieties. This variety is a rocket. So I decided to make it animated by adding these LEDs to the circuit. And also add an ATtiny85 microcontroller to be able to control the LEDs. You're also going to need a 3 volt button cell battery, a 3 volt button cell battery holder, a push button lock switch, and an 8 pin IC socket holder, and a perf board. And you're also going to need these wires to wire everything together. Now let's go ahead and assemble this together and let's get started. First I'm going to take my Zacto knife and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the design. I'm going to cut it out not on the dotted line but on the actual design itself. As you can see, I have cut out the cardboard, and as you can see right here, I cut out a little hole here, and that's for a reason, because uh, not only I did that, I also put two measurements too, so that way these can be sandwiched in together, and I can add, add the circuit. Now, as you can see, I, what I've done here is I've attached the battery where the positive of the battery goes to switch, and switch goes to this pin over here, which is pin eight, which is the VCC of the circuit. And then as you can see, the ground wire is soldered to the ground part of the circuit. So that pin is ground. And then pin 5 and 6 is going to represent uh, pin 0 and 1 on the ATtiny. So I'm going to attach two wire, those two wires and for the LEDs to connect to there. And the reason why I made the circuit like this, because I did it where it's more thin, so it can fit inside of this housing, and then I can take a... Uh, or I can take it like this, and the battery can be changed. You can put the battery in, and you can take it and change it, so that way you can always use this. And the amount of space in between allows me to sandwich it together like this. And why I put... And why I put two dots right here on these both sides here, so that way I can estimate the connection by connecting like this. I have these two dots right here, so that way I can be able to take this and cut it so that way I can go in like that. That's why I put the two dots on both of these to align the size of the cardboard, so I can be able to cut it through. So what I need to do next is I'll complete the circuit later, but first what I want to do is I want to go and instead of cutting the groove in the center, I'm going to cut the grooves on the side. So there's two grooves instead of just one groove. Same for here, instead of one groove, it's two grooves. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the grooves so then that way I can fit both of these in like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go do that next. Next I'm going to take my Zacto knife I'm going to go ahead and cut out these grooves. Use a little bit, use my scissors to cut out the grooves better. And there, it should come out just like that. Repeat the same process on the other design and onto the fins and it shall look just like this. Next, I'm going to take my permanent marker and I'm going to fill out the blank unfinished spots, such as the spot right here. Okay, so now what I've done is I've took the permanent marker and I've managed to put the permanent marker on both sides, on both of these pieces. So now they're ready, and I darkened these two parts to make them better. And I've done the other side on these two. So now, this is ready to assemble, and ready to attach the circuit. Next, I'm going to take my LEDs, and I'm going to attach it to the circuit. First, I'm going to start with these LEDs, and I'm going to go and glue them onto the piece of cardboard. First, I take the white LED and put it on the top, just like that. 
glue it into place, and glue in the red LED on the bottom, just like that, glue it into place, and now I'll take my green LEDs and put them on the fins, just like this. There we go, and repeat the same process with the green LEDs on the other design. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take these three wires and attach them to the LEDs. Red represents a red LED, blue represents a white LED, green represents the green LEDs. And I'm going to take the wires and place them in the circuit just like this. Red goes into pin 5, green goes into pin 6. There we go, just like that. Solder those two wires into place, and then solder bridge them to those pins. There we go, just like that. Next, I'm going to take the blue wire and solder it to pin 8, which will be the VCC of the circuit. Because I want the white LED to stay on whenever the circuit turns on, and not flash. Next, I'm going to take this negative wire and solder it to the negative terminal of the button cell battery holder. And this wire will connect to all of the cathodes of the LEDs. Solder it into place, just like that, and there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the red wire and solder it to the red LED's anode. There we go, solder it into place. Next, the green wire to the green LED's anode. Blue wire to the white LED anode. And there, all the anodes are now connected and it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the negative wire and solder it to the cathode of the red LED. There we go, one LED is now complete. Next, I need to link all of the LEDs together. Before I do that, I'm going to take some hot glue and glue the circuit to the cardboard design, and glue down the wires. There we go, should look just like this. Next, I'm going to solder another negative wire to the negative terminal of the button cell battery holder, and then solder it to the cathode of the white LED. Next, I'm going to take another green wire and solder it to the anode of this green LED, and then take the same wire and solder it to the other anode of the other green LED. There, both anodes are now connected. Next, I'm going to take the negative wire and solder it to the cathode of both of those green LEDs. There we go, both cathodes of the green LEDs are now connected. Repeat the same process on the other piece of cardboard, and it should look just like this. Next, I need to connect the two together with using these same wires. Connect both the anodes to both the anodes on both circuits and then both cathodes on both cathodes of the circuit, just like this. And there we go, the circuit is now complete. Now it's time to assemble the housing together. I'm going to take these two pieces and put them together, just like this. Slide them into place. There we go, it should look just like that. Next, I'm going to take the hot glue gun, and I'm going to glue the housing together, so that way everything stays together and doesn't fall apart. There we go, it should look just like this. Repeat the same process with the fins, so that way the fins stay together. And there we go, the housing is now connected together. Next, I'm going to take my 3 volt button cell battery and place it into the 3 volt button cell battery holder. And there, the circuit is now complete. Now it's time to turn it on and see how it looks. Ah, it works really well. The LEDs are now flashing in this special pattern. Which, by the way, I have the code for this ATtiny85 microcontroller down in the description below. If you want to program the ATtiny to do this. And there, this is how it looks in the dark. Very nice.
And there you have it. Now you know how to take your Amazon cardboard cutout design and to make it animated or electrified by using a simple circuit. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.